Good afternoon and welcome back to my how to make a bar chart using lattice in R tutorial. So last time uh, we made this in R. It's a very, very bare bones, but essentially the core bar graph. And uh, we want it to look kind of like this at the end. So we're pretty much there. Um, colors are a little iffy and we need to add a title and axes and blah blah blah. So that is going to be step five of our uh, five step outline. Uh, you can just look at the last if you want to see steps one through four. So let's go back to our studio. I have actually saved um, my file, always save often, and I'm going to close my plot. So. <laughs> so let's see, let me look at this. The first thing we should have is we should probably have a um guess scroll down here. Squitch. Oh I have an extra that's see I saw this error here. I didn't understand it at the bottom. I'm an ex unexpected closing parentheses, that's probably it. Alright. <laughs> now I understood my error and that was bothering me for a while. Right, so let's um add a uh, title to our graph. That seems to bother me the most. And um, this will be a um, main. I, that's the argument. And we'll call it... I need to add a comma here. See, I love this ID. Comma. Um, main, we'll call it... Um, <laughs> comparison of... Uh, dances. A comparison number of dances choreographed by men and women at the Prix de Lison. Oh, Prix de. Prix de what? Prix de Lausanne. <laughs> I did not take French. Uh, Prix de Lausanne um, Ballet co Competition. Oh, that's a really long title. I hope it. I hope it's okay. <laughs> it's so long. Um, how about just number of dances? How how's that? How's that R? Eh, uh, still long. Um, so we'll do comma. It's like Twitter I'm trying to get under 140 characters. Um, <laughs> zoom. Okay, see, so yeah, that's okay. That's nice. That's that's good so far. We have a title, and it fits. All right, and then um, another thing we want to do is label the x-axis and eventually we want to label the y-axis too. I'm going to just put that in so I don't forget. Um, and we want to call the x label is going to be um, years. We'll just call years. Oh, I love this IDE. I used to just go straight into the console but this IDE, it just saves me so much time. I would have missed that comma in the past. I try not to, but I always do. And um, the Y label, what is what's going on? Yeah, okay, Y label, I want to call it um, number of dances choreograph. That is a hard word to spell. Okay, let's see it now. Zoom. All right, so number of dances choreographed, we kind of move our head. And years is going to be, so it's labeled, yay! All right, so the next thing I notice is that the women have blue and the men have pink, which should be the other way around, I guess, if we're going to conform to gender roles. <laughs> um, so here's the thing about lattice. Um, in my experience. Lattice doesn't like it when you declare um, color things um, inside the bar plot function. 
So we have to declare it outside. <laughs> That's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to call colors is equal to C. Do we need a, I don't think we need a comma at the end. So girls are going to be pink and boys are going to be blue. How are these colors? I hope they're okay. You know what? We'll, we'll see if they're okay, and then if they're not okay, then we'll, we'll check the colors uh, later. Um, so here's a thing, a little, a finicky thing by Lattice. So it doesn't like it, it doesn't like it when you just set it just by colors, like, you know, like colors, because in, in bar plot, which is the default R, thing, the default R function, you could just say colors like this, but Lattice actually does not like it. It prefers something called par settings. Oh, comma. Par settings is equal to um, list. And you have to superpose polygon. And then we get list again. And we do column is equal to colors. I hope I have enough. Oh, I love this IDE. I can't believe I did the console for so long. Let's see if that worked. Ooh, something is terrible. <laughs> um, I think I need a legend. Do I need a legend? I feel like I need a legend. Let, let's add a, a legend f first. I think if we just try to do it without a legend, it just, ah. Uh, anyway, let's add a legend. <laughs> because we need one anyway. Um, oh, come on. Uh, try to run it again. Run, okay. If we notice we don't have a legend, we actually don't know what the blue and the pink are, so. We should probably add one of those. So let's, there you go. That's weird. Okay, my code disappeared. Or I deleted it, probably the second. So um, the legend will be auto.key, Lee, key. Um, is equal to true. I feel like that's it. I feel like true is all we need. Let's see. Ah, oh, yes, it is. <laughs> Great. Um, all right, so whew, we got it. Yay. <laughs> so we see that females are blue and males are pink. So we want to actually change these colors, right? So. Now that we have our legend, now will the par settings work? Is is that how it works? If not, then I can just look at my notes because oh, I'm embarrassed if oh, I will be embarrassed if it doesn't work. Um, well, then it's good because now I I will better understand how this program works. Oh, what is going on? I forgot a comma. Right, comma. Yes, yay! <laughs> it works. So you have to have a legend before you can just go around changing colors. All right, so that's kind of better. Um, you know what? I do not like these colors at all. <laughs> um, you know what we're going to do? Yeah, that's this ballet, just, just wear a diaper. <laughs> um, so we're going to do R uh, colors. Colors and R. It looks like I already opened it once. Okay, colors. Okay, let's pink, pink. It's the pink. This is how about, that looks good. Let's do deep pink one. So, colors, deep pink one, and let's pick something not quite so blue, <laughs> like 
a little nicer blue, does that make sense? Like not so jarring. How about royal blue too? That's that's kind of pretty. <laughs> uh where's my art studio? There it is. Alright. Royal blue too. Right, let's run the whole thing. Okay, that looks a little better. Well, I don't like this pink. It could be a little pinker. If that makes sense. Um, a little softer pink. There we go. Um, how about pale violet red one? That looks that looks nice. So let's just run this part. Just until colors. Uh, I, I just want a little... No, I want something a little... I'm sorry, I'm so picky about this. Um, I want something a little more pinkish, but not so... It's like, that's too bright. How about maroon one? Isn't that weird? Don't you, I always thought maroon was kind of red. Okay. If this, this is, it's gotta work, right? It's gotta look nice. Well, it's the same thing as, okay. Is there something a little softer than maroon one? Like a, a bit more beige. How about hot pink? Hot pink. All right, if this doesn't work, I swear, it's the last time. I promise. Okay. Um, let's just run that. Okay. Okay, good enough, good enough, good enough for now. I won't, I won't belabor the point. So, <laughs> this is what it looks like right now. So the girls have pink and the boys have blue. Phew. All right, uh, what do we need now? Um, oh, here's the thing. I want th this, um what do you call it, title to be a little bigger. Ooh, we do not want to be doing that. Um, and I want these Y and X axes things to be a little bigger because you can barely tell what's saying, like years and this is, I want the font to be bigger. <laughs> so let's do that. And this is going to be a little tricky. Um, we want to have a list. I hope this is right. Oh, I did the wrong thing. Okay, number of dances. So this is going to be title. So I'm going to say what I want to do first, because then, because your eyes are like, what is she doing? Okay, so I want the font of the title to be bigger. Uh, that's my main thing. Um, I think of anything else after I make it bigger, then I shall tell you. Um, and the font size is CX, what is it? Oh yeah, 90 out of comma. CX, I think 2.5. Doesn't sound like a lot, but our sizes are, it can be a little weird sometimes. So let's run this bar chart again. What happens if font size is 2.5? Oh, it's gone. <laughs> that was not good. <laughs> Um, what happens if it's just 1.0? Oh god, can I make this a little, this console, can I, okay, yeah, there we are. That's the stuff. <laughs> um, oh, the title's gone, that's not good. What is going on here? What if I comment this out and remove this? Then will this work? Is it the CX? It's probably the CX. Oh no, it's gone. Okay, the list. That's what's going on. What is the problem with list? We call it title? Oh no, we call it label. That's the problem. All right, now let's do 2.5. Add our comma. Run. Ooh, this is looking huge. How do we, I wanna get that into two columns. So it's not like, Rrr. you know, if we export this, it might not look so weird. That's what I'm thinking. Is that what you're thinking? But let's make it into two columns anyway, just because, um, It 
It does look kind of big. I hope the columns form. I don't know if that's actually a real argument. Uh, run. I feel like it's not. Did I? Yeah, it's not actually a real argument. Never mind. <laughs> Let's make it 2.0. Just uh I guess it really depends on how we how we export it, like on what dimensions. Right. That was actually a nothing. <laughs> um Remove the current plot. Oh god, we got like a million plots. Oh god. How do we remove all of the plots? I guess just one by one. Maybe I want to keep a history. No, I don't. <laughs> Alright, let's run. Because we might have not been doing anything. Oh, I can save as an image. It's neat. So when I export, I don't know, it, it's weird, it just kind of like, zerks out on me. Weird. <laughs> Let's reload. Ooh, oh my god, oh my god, something terrible happened. <laughs> um, zoom. Okay, there you go. I just had to reload. Alright, um... I don't need this. Let's let's fix that. Doesn't look good. <laughs> Obviously, you can just kind of do this on your own. Um, oh, I didn't run it. I can't, uh, okay, sloppy. Yeah, that, that's that's fine. You know what? I am going to pause this video for a second. I'm gonna figure out how to get my labels in the columns. I really want the full title. Be right back. Um, okay, I'm back. I actually did not figure out how to do that. Uh, anyway, so let's, let's just call it, um, good enough for now. Um, and we want the same thing for the x-axis. If we look here, the x-axis and y-axis are pretty tiny. So, same thing. I want to list it out. Move the years in. And that will be label, not title, label, um, font size. Do I want it to be two? I want it to be a little smaller. Comma. Thank you, IDE. And uh, let's let's try it again. What does the x-axis look? Oh, it looks a little better. I like that. Okay, I like that. It's nice. And we'll do the same thing for the y-axis, so we will list, oh, I forgot to tell you what I did, uh, make, whoops, make the font bigger, and we do, we'll do the same thing for the y-axis, make the font bigger, so we'll list parentheses, okay, and we'll move this into the um, parentheses, we'll do label, whoops, label is equal to that, and we'll call it the font size is equal to 1.5, and we'll add a comma at the end. Yay! Alright, all right, so let's see if this runs. Yeah, it looks nice. You can already tell without zooming in, but let's zoom in. That is great. Yay! That looks lovely um so now let's make i want to make these um what do you call them axes marks a little teensy wincy bit bigger and i think that's how you do that with the um the uh legends key because these are i guess part of the legends <laughs> who knows i uh, no, no no it's not it's not it's uh with the uh what do you call it Uh, X and Y pff, axes marks, yeah, axes marks. We want to make 
their font a little bigger. And what I mean is um, like these sort of things, like 6, 4, 2013, that sort of thing. So we do that by saying uh, x is equal to, we want to do, oh, this is tricky, um, list again. We want to say, I think default, do we want to rotate them? If we want to rotate, if you want to rotate, you want, want to rotate your values, you set rotate is equal to you know nine degrees or something, but I don't, so I won't do that. <laughs> um, but we can set the um, font size to be a certain way. So let's see how that works out. Let's run that. Mm, no difference at all. Is it because that's the one? What if we do like five? That should make it easy to see like what we are, what's going on. Oh, okay. Explicit data specification ignored. Object gender not found. What do you mean object gender not found? It's weird. Hmm. What if we comment this out? Is it is it my new code? That's I mean it probably is, but oh god, what if this isn't running like this the whole time? I haven't noticed. Okay, no, it's it's my new code. What is going on here? I want to make these tick marks a little... Oh, because... <laughs> uh, I know. Because they're called scales. Sorry, we had to specify that they're scales. Okay. Scales list. Alright, so we're going to make this scooch this parentheses to the end. Alright. <laughs> I'm going to call them scale. Sorry. Um, let's comment this. Let's change. Oh, that's what they're called. These tick marks are called. These are called the scale tick marks. Um, marks font size. Right. So let's Run that again. Okay, it should work. See, <laughs> so that is size font size five, way too huge. Let's do 1.0. I feel like is that I don't know if that's the default size or not, but um. Okay, let's squinch it up a get a bit. I have a 1.2. Alright, it's a little better. If that is, I might squinch this up to 2.2. .2. Alright, so um, so that's the x-axis view. And now let's do the same thing for y. We're gonna just, I'm just going to copy and paste this. If we had to add a comma there. Um, and the same thing, I want the y's to be a little bigger as well. So let's just run everything. Yeah, so now the y-axis is a little bigger. It's number of dances choreographed, um, years, and that's, it looks pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. You know what? I am going, I don't, I, I feel like it needs to be pre the Lausanne. I feel like that wouldn't be like a huge problem. It's just, let's just export it. We'll figure out a way to make it look good. It's very just so about this sort of thing. Yeah, it's, it's okay. It's okay. This looks good. All right. Um, <laughs> I, was, I wish I could make these bold. Okay, that's enough. Um, so now we have to fix the legend because it's just teeny tiny and blah. 
So, let's finally add a legend. Before we just set true, and that's sort of just the default true. But what if we want to make it special, which we do. So we make it a list, of course, because that's a common theme. So if we can, I like it at the top. Um, and the way you do that is by saying space is equal to top. But if you like it on the bottom, you can do that too. You know, and then the legend is moved uh, to the bottom. I don't know if you can see the recording. It's tiny. Oh yeah, there you go. It's it's at the bottom. I find it a little awkward. Um, well, to record anyway, because I realized it didn't record all the way to the bottom. Um, but if we can squinch it to the right, it's like that. So, but I like it at the default, which is at the top. Um, and here's another thing, you can set the number of columns. So we only have two values, so it's either one column or two. But if we set the two, aha, now we have two columns, you know, left and right. That looks nice, I like it. But the font's a little small, so I want to make the font a teensy weensy bit bigger. You can see it takes longer to make your graph nice than it does to actually write the code for the graph itself. Um, okay, so this is where I got confused. You use title for the legend, but you use label for, you know, the actual title of the graph. So you can call it colors. Yay, that looks kind of pretty. It's really shaping up. Um... <laughs> Um, and, uh, what else? Do we want... Yeah, let's change the... That is a little big. That is a little big. So let's make it a little smaller. You know, the font of the title. Because it was all as big as the labels, which is kind of silly. Okay, I do highlight and run. Okay. Yeah, that's a little better. That's uh, that's a little bit, a little tinier than I wanted. 1.1. 1. 1. Oh, let's do 1.2. Oh, I know it's as big as that. Uh, let's do 1.1. 1. 1. Yeah, that's a little better. That's a little better. I like that. Okay, so far, pretty good. And um, what else do I need for the graph? Oh yes, because you notice the origin starts, our values start at zero, but still kind of popping up from the negative space. So we need to fix this origin. Um, oops, set the origin so that values start at zero, which is what we want. So origin is equal to zero. So now let's run everything. Um, hey, look, looks nice, doesn't it? So, yay, I think this is pretty much it. Um, we have 2012, 2013, 2014, 15, 16, 17, and then a blank for 18 because it hasn't happened yet. Um, yay, well, this is everything I wanted. The title's big, everything's big, tick marks are big, or scale marks are big. And, um, now we can just hope for a better year for pink for 2018. Let's see. And you probably want to export your graph. So let me just bring up my thing that I haven't opened in a while. So our sixth step will be to export the graph um, in a big fashion, a big format. <laughs> Um, and this is what we're going to work on now. So this is done. Whoops. It's black. Green. So this is what we're going to work on right now. Exporting it. Um, so we do that by... Um, first we have to uh, open up a blank file, blank image file that we want to save our chart in. 
Um, and then we have to specify like, what is it called? I think it's, uh, let me open up my, <laughs> let me open, let's, let me just, just want to make sure that I have the right, No, that's not right. Wrong file. This is just something else. <laughs> um, this might be patient data. So let me. <laughs> um, no, it's not. Never mind. It wasn't. But I just have to be careful. Let's see. I don't know. Ooh, I don't actually have this. I have to, ugh, I have to pff, Google it. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't have this. Because I accidentally deleted it earlier. Okay, um, <laughs> let's use the Googles then. Um, How embarrassing. <laughs> and I already looked it up before. Um, wait a second, let me figure this out and let me come back. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I am back. That was, I'm so terribly embarrassed by that. <laughs> um, I did not, I sort of speak extemporaneously and I did not have the code ready, but I have it now using my Google Foo. So if we just squinch this up, that's a technical term. Um, here it is. So we first, I knew I want to do a PNG. So here are two or a couple of arguments. We first open up a blank image we want to save our chart in. So we set the file name um, and we'll call it um, ballet chart dot png and we're just going to copy from this guy or <laughs> um, units I like to use inches too but you can use pixels or whatever and with I don't know let's let's just do 10 inches by 10 10 by 10 height Um, resolution. Is that it? I want, I feel like I want DPI. This is probably a terrible idea. I should just follow him. But I thought, I, I have a really strong feeling that I want DPI and what is going on? Okay. And I think, I think that's what I want. I hope that's the right one. And, um... And we want to save our image. We use this command dev off. So please run properly in null device. Oh, something went terrible. Um, yeah, it did not work. <laughs> oh dear. Um, Why did it not work? Wait a second, let me go back and troubleshoot this. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I am so terribly sorry. I'm so embarrassed by that. So I went around and around <laughs> the internets. Okay, so if, I'm sorry. I would, do you know what I did last time? I, you were probably yelling at me, but I was putting these in strings. And obviously these are numbers. They don't need to be strings. That's how you know I'm tired. <laughs> So this is how you open up a blank image that we want to save. We do our PNG file name with height in numbers. So no need for the quotation marks and resolution. I really wish there were DPIs, but I lost my code and I guess this is the best we can do for now. Um, and I'm going to change the label to Pre-Lazan Dance Court by Men and Women. 
Um, let's just see how that works out. So you open up blank image, and then at the very end, so you, first you open up blank image. This is nothing, it just has the dimensions, and then we draw our bar chart, and then when we save our dev off, then we save the image. So we're going to, hopefully, if we uh, look at my results, my documents page is where my working directory is. If we run all this, something should pop up. A ballet chart, yay! Um, this is what it looks like. Ooh, do not like that. You know what? I don't think we need um, court by minimum. I don't think we need that. I swear this is the last time. So we're going to run it again. Everything. Um, ballet chart. I don't think we need... I don't think we need choreographs. Sorry. Okay, this is for realsies. Last time. I'm just so, just so about this. <laughs> um, open up ballet chart. Pretty it is on dances. All right. Uh, I just ugh. contemporary ballet. Will that fit? Please fit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yay. That works. All right. So finally, we finished everything, and that is the code for it. I'm gonna put this on GitHub. Uh, I know, I know, I promised I'd do that like months ago. I'm sorry, I'm so bad at this. Um, but yeah, but here's how you do the uh, grouped bar graph view um, using Lattice in R. Thank you for anyone who made through the end of this video. It's terribly painful. Um, oh yeah, there's a, probably like a ballerina uh, um, like in the original one. I think, yeah, I think I put a little ballerina at the end. But um, that's just like I just photoshopped something in. <laughs> it's just being cute. <laughs> okay, but if you just want to make it an R, um, this is what you get. All right, thank you for seeing through with me. Um, see you guys later. <laughs>